วัสดีครับ Thank you very much, Danny. I hope you got a very very good time back then in Thailand. And you leave me alone here. Well, so I'm still cooking, but you're having a great time there. It's not very fair, man. <laughs> but anyway, I have to keep my job done. Okay, today I'm gonna cook stir fry snake bean with crispy pork belly, which is in Thailand we call this dish pad pricking mu. Okay, now this is the main ingredient. Very simple and easy, which is I already made up very very easy dish for you. This is snake bean, which is I already cut it. It's about 400 grams, and I've got two pieces of nice piece of pork belly, which is I boil them, leave it in boil until it's soft. Possibly. I'll give it 40-45 minutes, and then drain it, patch, patch it dry, and then deep fry it in low heat. And you can see that the skin come out very good, very very crispy there, which is what I'm looking for. Okay, three spoon of red chili paste, and couple of kaffalam leaves, which is that for the garnish and uh, finishing off to give it a little bit of. Uh, Sense nice smell after we have those. Okay, now let's put everything together. So first, chop your crispy pork belly into slices as Ron is doing here. Now, as Ron mentioned, to get this crispy texture, boil the pork belly in hot boiling water for 45 minutes. Once finished, wait for it to cool down, assure it's completely dry before putting it in a pot filled with cold oil. Cover the pot with a lid and slowly deep fry the pork belly until crispy. Keep an eye on it though; depending on your stove, the time it takes to deep fry will vary. Okay, nice and crispy. Put your chopped up crispy pork belly aside on a plate, and then tear apart your kefir lime leaves for that additional authentic taste to be added to your snake bean. In here, I'm gonna put a little bit of kefir lime leaf. Okay. All right, that's um, I'm gonna pop that in the metal colander to make sure. Don't use a plastic one because I want. I'm, I'm gonna put the Hot oil on top of those to like a to seal it for to give it a a little bit of crispy as you can see that there we go you can see it's still green there we go into the wok a little bit of oil and this this is very common in food store. Every corner of um, Bangkok, you can find a little food store. Like they got 10 different pots of curry, 15 or 20 different of fry, and one of these dishes that I'm making today is very, very common. You can find in any food store in Bangkok. He's telling the truth. These uh, stands can be found anywhere and everywhere in Krung Tep. I don't want a very high heat because. Um, Otherwise, it's gonna burn the chili paste. Stir the red curry paste into a fragrant for about 30 seconds. And if you're a hothead, pop in Thai chilies to assure it turns out the way it's supposed to be. Simmer for another 30 seconds, constantly stirring to avoid the paste being burnt in any way. Add an additional touch of chicken stock to liquefy the paste. Smell beautiful already. Now season. All right, a little bit of fish sauce. Okay, you can use any type of sugar, palm sugar. The white sugar, coffee sugar, whatever, raw sugar, but this time I use the honey. Just give it a little bit of sweetness in there. Coat the crispy pork belly slices in your sauce and engulf the flavor within the meat. Leave it for like a couple of minutes until they thick, the sauce is thick. Sweetness. Maybe another couple. 
Okay, the sauce is getting thick, so I added in there to there is my crispy pork. You see the chop it up. Continue to stir the flavor through every aspect of the wok, every aspect of the beans and meat until it is cooked to perfection. Add chili oil and chicken stock for those final touches. And of course, garnish this fine snake bean stir fry with very finely sliced kefir lime leaves. Once you're satisfied with your end result, your pad praking bunga tofakyao is complete. God, I love saying that on statewide television. Serve with rice and enjoy your pad praking bunga tofakyao. Okay, our best one so far. Better than tom yum kung.